Hi! Today I wanted to share with you five underrated queer books. I think that I just have the L, the G, and the B of LGBT+. I'm sorry, that's all we have in this video. I'll try to be more inclusive if I do this again. But I just thought it would be kind of nice to talk about books that I never see other people talk about on booktube. I really like queer recommendation videos, but I feel like they're a little bit repetitive. So today I wanted to share five books that I really like that I have never seen other people talk about on booktube ever. So here we go. The first one is How I Paid for College, a novel of sex, theft, friendship, and musical theater by Mark Aceto. I feel like most people who know me are going to see me hold this up and it's like really obvious why I like this book. I saw the title and I bought this immediately. It's a very tongue-in-cheek, over-the-top, ridiculous novel about this guy in high school whose father says that he won't pay for his college if he's going to go to theater school, which is what he wants to do. So he and his friends have kind of a crazy madcap adventure year where they are trying to raise money for this kid to go to theater school. It takes place in 1980s in New Jersey and it's just a really fun, ridiculous book. The main character of this book is bisexual and I really really enjoyed that because he's very assured in his identity. He has a relationship with a girl and when he's with her he's like yes, I really like girls, this is clear to me. And then he has feelings for a guy and he kind of experiments with that and he's like, yep, I really like guys as well. Um, awesome. And it doesn't have that kind of stereotype of like being confused and having to pick sides. He's very confident in the fact that he likes both men and women. There's also a female-female relationship between two of the secondary characters, which I really enjoyed. And overall, this book is just a weird adventure story about extortion and blackmail and lots of musical references, so I'm completely on board. I absolutely loved this. It was just so, so highly entertaining. If any of that sounded interesting to you, I think you'll have a really fun time reading this book. It does have a sequel as well, which I've never read, but I do own, and I just am so bad at finishing book series, but sometime I would like to read this. It's called Attack of the Theater People, which also just, honestly, uh, they don't match, which kind of bugs me, but the titles of these books is just so irresistible to me. The next book on my list is something that you probably actually have heard of, but I don't really know anyone else who's actually read it, and it is The Price of Salt by Patricia Highsmith. This is the book source of the movie Carol, which is a beautiful piece of film. The movie is wonderful. If you haven't seen it, it's Kate Blanchett and Rooney Mara, and it's just a super artistic, moody, lesbian period piece, and it's great, but the book that it's based off of is also great. Uh, this follows a young girl named Therese and she ends up having a relationship with a slightly older woman who is more uh, learned of the world and just kind of opens up her eyes to a lot of things. It's a really quiet, beautifully written, compelling and moving story. It's a wonderful character study. I found it so interesting to live in the main character's head. She was just really fascinating to me. It's just a wonderful piece of fiction and it follows two women that fall in love with each other and it's wonderful. Highly recommend. The next one on my list is a graphic novel by a graphic novel artist that I have been talking about this year, that I discovered this year, and I've really been enjoying. It's Megs Fitzgerald and this is her nonfiction work, Long Red Hair, and this is just about her childhood and it follows her discovery of her bisexual identity. I really like her art, I really like the way she writes. She's just a wonderful person and I really enjoyed both of the graphic novels by her that I've read. I think she's coming out with a new one soon. There's a Kickstarter for it if you're interested. She also does these YouTube videos called Ambidraws where she has like one minute videos and she's drawing with both her hands because she's ambidextrous. Now I'm just going off on a tangent about how cool Megs Fitzgerald is, <laughs> but seriously, you should check out this book. It's really short. Um, I do wish it was longer, but everything in it is super fascinating. It kind of talks about the intersection of of 
sexuality and witches, which is amazing, <laughs> and I never expected that thread to be in there, but that's awesome. If you like graphic memoir, which I love, I think that you'll like this book. It's definitely worthwhile. The next book on my list is actually a play, not a book. I'm throwing it in here anyway. It's Bent by Martin Sherman. This is a book about the Holocaust. It is very dark and heavy, but the author of this book is a gay Jewish man, so I appreciate that he is not like co-opting this story from other people. This follows gay men during the rise of Hitler, in, I believe this takes place in Germany. It's really well written. I would recommend seeing a production of it over reading it, but I don't think that too many of you are going to be able to find a production of this to go see, so if you can't, I would still recommend reading this, just so you can get the story and get this really interesting play under your belt. One thing I really like about this is you kind of get to see the domestic life of gay men in the 1930s and 40s. So it actually covers a big span of time and it covers a lot of different aspects of the lives of these men in this play. It does eventually end up in concentration camps. And that is actually a part of the Holocaust that people don't talk about a lot is the persecution of homosexual people. It's just a really important work about an obviously important piece of history and I think it's really great. It's sad. Don't get me wrong, it's really, really sad, but it's very good. And then the last book on my list is A Good Idea by Christina Maracho. This is a new adult mystery thriller. It follows a girl who has moved away from her small town. In her absence, her best friend has disappeared. So she comes back for the summer after she's gone away and she's pretty determined to find out what has happened to her best friend in a town where everyone kind of knows everyone else's secrets but people don't really want to talk about it. She just kind of uncovers a lot of things, stirs up a lot of stuff. I was surprised by how much I liked this book. It was a compelling mystery, not so much of a thriller, but there were definitely intense moments, and I overall just really enjoyed the writing and the storyline of this. It was very engaging. I went into this book not knowing it was a queer book. The main character of this book, I guess you would say, is bisexual. She honestly doesn't ever discuss her identity, but she has a relationship with a guy, and then she also kind of falls for this girl. A main romantic relationship throughout this book is between two girls. And then there's a kind of a secondary character who's also a lesbian, and I just really liked it. It was such a surprise, but very welcome one. It wasn't like a young adult book about coming out or kind of like exploring your identity. The mystery was definitely the forefront of this novel, but at the same time there's a female-female relationship that is very important to the plot, and it's not like a tiny little thread. The focus of the relationship isn't these girls' sexuality, you know? Which isn't to say books about coming out are bad or anything like that, I just need more variety. This just felt kind of fresh and new to me, so I really enjoyed it. I think I mentioned it this when I um, reviewed it as well, but this book reminds me so much of the video game Life is Strange. It has so many elements that are the same as that game other than the time travel aspect. So minus the time travel, this book is Life is Strange. I'm a huge Life is Strange fan, so I really, really liked that, and I had a super fun time reading this book. I think that's it, so I will see you guys later. Um, bye.